Oh my God, could it be? Is this real? Do my eyes deceive me? Well, I know they're definitely not deceiving yours because you clicked on this review. Guys, finally in Southern California, my very first time trying these, the bagel sandwiches have landed at McDonald's. I have never had this till right now. It's been available for well over a year plus in a lot of other places. Guys, the steak, egg, and cheese variant we're going in on right now. So sit tight because it's up next for you. Finally, of course, I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. All right, McDonald's, I see you. This is looking fairly substantial. This is not bad, guys. Feast your eyes on this here. Very nice. I know I'm a little late to the party with this one, but still, this is looking pretty decent. Let me break it on down for you fully before we get into it, guys. Looking pretty nice. All right, here we go with the steak, egg, and cheese bagel from good old Mickey D's. Let's pop the top of this buttery toasted bagel and take a look underneath. And what you're going to notice, guys, we've got a very nice amount of American cheese on this one here. Essentially two slices, really. We've got some folded egg. Underneath that, we've got what they're billing as a juicy steak patty. A little on the small side, but it looks okay. We've got some grilled onions. And I got to say, guys, not bad in terms of the overall aroma department so far. Very, very nice indeed. There's also some butter in there. Naturally, I mentioned at the top of this one, very, very nice there. Looks like it's got a little bit of a sauce type of situation on the bottom there. Very, very decent. So let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's get into this one finally here in Southern Cali. Guys, I've got the all new steak, egg, and cheese bagel here at Mickey D's. Let's peep out this flavor. So yeah, I didn't realize this one had like a buttery spread right there on the bottom. There's a decent amount of it right there, guys, along with the trademark folded egg over here at Mickey D's and the two slices of cheese. A very nice situation. And again, it does feel very substantial in the hand. The only thing that I'm really concerned about this, though, guys, here in Southern Cali, $7.19 for this. So that's a little crazy for a breakfast sandwich. It is what it is, right? What are you going to do? But let's just see if the flavor is going to be pretty banging on it. It definitely looks pretty banging as well. Here we go. Finally, 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 the steak, egg, and cheese bagel here at Mickey D's in Southern Cali. Let's peep this out. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Wow. All right, I see you, McDonald's. Aside from the price point being crazy on this right now, why did you wait so long to bring this to Southern Cali? Because like I said, I have never seen it over here. This is definitely a banging situation flavor-wise. That spread on the bottom is nice and buttery. It goes pretty nice with that little juicy steak patty, which has got some juiciness to it. And of course, with that folded egg action in there, that is a beautiful situation. The grilled onions, too, add a nice little dimension of saltiness. But overall, the flavors and the textural mouthfeel with everything is banging on this. And of course... You've got that nicely toasted bun in here as well. Let's keep going in, guys. This is pretty tasty. Wow. This really is pretty tasty. Mmm. That spread is banging. I got to keep showing this one to you guys. This is a nice combination of goodness here. That bagel is a pretty lovely situation, I have to say. But the wild card with this one is really that spread on the very bottom, along with the overall flavor of that juicy steak patty action right there, guys. And again, with the grilled onions in there as well, too, there. And being that it is breakfast, you got to have eggs, you got to have cheese. That is a lovely situation. And hey, just in case steak isn't really your jam, you've got a couple of other options on the menu. Naturally, the bacon, egg, and cheese variant. You've also got a sausage variant on top of that. And there's a regular egg and cheese variant on top of that as well. But guys, those pretty much start at like the $5.99 price point. McDonald's, what are you doing with the prices with these? Like I said, it's breakfast. It shouldn't really be up there with lunch like that. This is kind of nuts. With the steak, though, I get it. I mean, because it's a little bit more of a premium, you've got a protein that's in there. But still, $7.19 to start with this one. No bueno. Maybe $4.99 tops, honestly, for what this is. But banging. Let's keep going in, guys. It is pretty delicious. Mm. That sauce, that spread in the bottom, is crazy flavorful. i got to try that on some other things over here, I think. You know, it's funny because as I'm going into this, I'm thinking hamburger is essentially chopped steak. So they're going with a little bit more of the premium name. They could have just said this is more like a breakfast bagel burger or burger bagel breakfast or whatever you want to call it like that. But the fact that they're saying it's a steak patty, I guess, it is what it is. But it does actually satisfy. The flavor is nice. It's got some light seasoning. It definitely feels different than a burger for sure. But with the grilled onions in there as well, too. Guys, honestly, if you're at the $5.99 price point and bacon and sausage, you're kind of already up there. 
the extra dollar or two, I guess, for what it is. Again, the price point's high, but at the same time, I think you're getting a little bit more bang for the buck with this one. And again, it's a fairly decent size, even though I thought initially it was small when I popped it. It does kind of cover the bagel decently. I just wish overall it was maybe just a little bit thicker, just a little bit, but it's subtle. It's there. The flavor is good. It goes amazing with the cheese, the eggs, the grilled onions naturally. Let's keep going in. Pretty nice. Mmm. It makes a difference having it on a bagel, though, I have to admit. Although I would like to try the steak on a biscuit, though. I think that'd be a pretty nice option, maybe even on a McGriddle, but, well, that may be a little bit of a stretch with the maple, naturally. But still, this is pretty good for what it is. And again, I'm going to keep showing it to you. A very nice combination of goodness with a fairly decent size on the bagel itself. It is pretty large, guys, so I'm definitely digging that. Let's go for another couple of bites real quick. I'm so glad this one was pretty much worth the wait. Let's keep going in. Hmm. So yeah, guys, I'm glad I finally gave this one a shot. This definitely looked like it was the more interesting out of the group that's on there. I mean, naturally, you expect the bacon, egg, and cheese and a sausage variant and just the plain egg and cheese. So I'm glad I'm actually jumping up to this one because it really is worth it there. I just wish it was a little bit less expensive, naturally. But what you're going to get here is a very nice flavor profile. Again, with a very nice spread this has on the bottom of it, it's really pretty tasty. It's buttery. It's got like a little bit of a zip to it. Very, very nice. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. But again, a banging situation. And I'm finally glad to say we've got the bagel sandwiches here in Southern Cali. Again, I've never seen these until right now. I'm glad I'm finally doing one for you here on the channel. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap it up. Hang on. All right, for those of you who are probably thinking, Ian K, calm down, it's just a bagel sandwich. You have to understand, this has been available for so long across the country, and I'm surprised we've waited until this long to try this finally here in Southern Cali. Mickey D's, thanks for finally thinking of us over here. I just wish, again, it was a little bit less expensive, but the price point being what it is, it's still a very tasty situation over here. And again, if you're going to spend this money on this one, this is going to be the one to go with there naturally. Six bucks for the others, no bueno. But then again, $5.99 is still a lot anyway. It's still a banging situation flavor-wise, either way. Well, I gotta say, if this one was a few dollars less expensive, it'd be definitely in the nine category in terms of the overall, guys, because the flavor is pretty banging on it. But as it stands, and based upon the price point that it is right now, I'm gonna have to give the steak, egg, and cheese bagel here at Mickey D's, finally in Southern Cali, just an okay seven out of ten. Guys, it's still an amazing situation flavor-wise for breakfast, but again, the price point kills this one. But like I said throughout this review, if you're thinking about giving one of these a shot and you see the price point being what it is, it's worth getting that variation because of the protein that you're getting and with the grilled onions naturally on top of that. But again, the wild card with that is that spread that it's got on the bottom. It's buttery. It's got a little bit of a zip to it. The flavor is good. The saltiness is on point in general with the cheese, the egg, and the overall goodness there. And then naturally with that semi-toasted bagel action, I got to say pretty nice as well. And it is substantial in the hand. So it is worth it to try at least once because of what it is. But again, just be prepared for a little bit of sticker shock. But even still, guys, like I said, the flavor is pretty awesome on it. It really is. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the look of the steak, egg, and cheese bagel over here at Mickey D's. And if you've actually had this available in your area for a while now, is it one of your favorites? And considering the price point here in Southern Cali, would you pay that? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.